Okay, so in the third part of this um, series, we will try to create a Docker container out of our application. And I will just um, create a more advanced um, GitLab YAML, uh, GitLab CI YAML file here. And it basically contains two additional stages. So after we test the software and we build the software, the next thing is that we um, create an executable jar file. And this jar file <coughs> um, will then go into the next stage and will be part of the, the Docker container creation, where we, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the Docker image that we will create. And what we will do is that we push it to Docker Hub. And in order to do so, we need um, these um, security um, configs here. In this case, this is just environment variables that you can define in, um, in a repository, and it will be passed to the CI runner. And with that, we see that the pipeline is already running. And so what we see there is that the Java file um, got created. And this is a problem where it gets a little bit hairy, I would say. So what we need to do here is, or the problem is, that the Docker runner itself is not capable currently of um, running or of executing Docker um, commands, like the Docker build command in this case. So what we can do in the Docker runner, and we will just go straight to it, um, what we can do is we can set two options and the first one is that okay so there is a there is a config toml file under etc gitlab runner and we will go straight into the container and <clears throat> um, manually change the content of the file here um, you see there is a um, there are some parts that we actually um, in the in the last part of this uh, video series created and this is just the result from the uh, wizard and what we will do is that we will run this container in privilege mode which means that it can have certain um, additional possibilities in order to um, create other containers and, and stuff like that. And the next thing is that we need to pass the Docker socket into the container so that it actually um, gets a connection to the to the Docker daemon. And with that, we should be ready to go. We will just restart the Docker runner here. And so now we need to um, rerun the pipeline, which can be done manually. It does not need to be run by um, the code field. And yeah, so this is this is the So, yeah, I think I just did not write the stuff correctly into the file. So, yeah, it's actually. All right, so we'll just double check the, 
the file here. And yeah, basically I just screwed up the, the, the config file and there was a problem with the um, with the socket definition. And now we can rerun the pipeline on again, once again. So there is another error, which is, yeah, basically it's a wrong, another typo in the, in the file. And so with this, we have a um, fully running pipeline, which is the last part, builds a container and pushes it to a registry. In this case, I use the Docker Hub because I um, actually GitLab itself has a Docker registry, so you could um, push your artifacts to it. Nevertheless, I did not set up um, the uh, TLS certificates or the SSL certificates here. The, this is why I just push it to, um, to Docker 